Hey everybody, this is Mr. Garrett. I'm going to talk about playing page 5 in the book on the flute. The first thing you want to do when you play page 5 in the book is you need to see my video called number 31A, F and E flat finger patterns. That teaches you how to switch between an F and an E flat. Uh, almost everybody has done that with me, but you can watch my fingers and I'll show you how very slowly for that video. Going from an E flat to an F on flute is a little bit trickier than some of the other finger patterns that we use. So we need to get really good at that first before you play on page five. Luckily, I've included some really easy songs, number 31 and 32 on page five. So if you're already pretty good at going from an F to an E flat, you can kind of skip what I'm talking about right now and uh, skip ahead in the video to where I talk about playing number 31 or 32 or 33. So when we go to make an F, and by the way, my hands are going to be backwards because my phone is in selfie mode right now. So if it looks like my right hand is playing the top hand of the flute, you just pretend that you're looking in a mirror when you watch me. So here's your E flat. And of course, E flat is when we do bunny ears D and add our pinky. Now to switch between F, we have to do two different things. You have to put down your very top finger and then you have to lift up these two. So when I switch between an E flat and an F, I need to do both of those things at the same time. Here's some ways to get really good at that. Number one, to remember how to do F, my nickname for this note is called three, talking about the three fingers I push down, plus one. I call it three plus one. So if the hand closest to your mouth, your top hand right here, is playing three fingers, your bottom finger is going to push that one. Sometimes we call that the B flat finger or the flat finger. So this is what your F should look like. And of course we push our pinky all the time and the normal thumb key. But when I talk about an F, we usually just call it three plus one. Now the first thing I like to do when you do E and F for the very, very first time is I say grab everything and then lift up that E bunny ear. And then to go back to F, I put down, so I'm pushing everything and then I lift up these two guys right here. That just takes a little bit of practice to feel these two fingers lifting up. So again, I'm gonna do that a few times. I grab everything, and then I lift up my bunny ear. I put my bunny ear down, and I lift up these to make an F. I'll do it again. I grab everything, and I lift up my bunny ear. I put the bunny ear down, and I lift up these two for F. So when I do that all at the same time, it's gonna look like this. E flat, F, E flat, F. Now, if you need to practice that, what you should do right now is pause this video and go to my video in the flute playlist on my playlist at the top of the screen and find the video called number 31A F to E flat fingerings and you're gonna actually play along with me and practice switching between those two notes over and over and over and over again that video starts out very 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 slow and then it speeds up as you go it's okay if you get halfway through the video or just a little bit through that video and you can't keep up with me you just go until you can't keep up anymore and then you restart the video and you try to challenge yourself to get farther and farther down the video. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is number 31 and 32 because those are very important for getting started on these two notes on the flute and being able to go fast between F and E flat. So first of all, if you look at number 31 on page five of your book, it starts with the note F. The reason I started with F on number 31 is because that's our new note and I want you to be all set with it right from the beginning. And now listen carefully, if you look at the first five notes of number 31, they are just Fs 
and E flats, just like in my video 31A F to E flat finger patterns. So you're not doing anything different besides switching from what I just showed you, F to E flat. So let me play the first five notes. And you can even uh, go along with me just on the first five. It's very simple if you've done that other number 31A video. So here I go on number 31, page five. One, two, ready, two Fs. And that's all you have to do. F, F, E, E, F. You'll notice if you look ahead to the third pattern of number 31, it's the same exact thing, F, F, E, E, F. So you just do what I just played two times. Now there's two other patterns, obviously. The second part pattern of the song is something you've played a million times before, E flat, E flat, D, D, E flat. And I would say, if I was sitting in the room with you, why is that easy? And you would say, because all I have to do is move my pinky. So I'm gonna play the second pattern of number 31, like this, one, two, ready, and go. So very, very easy just to move your pinky. The third pattern, like I just said, is the same as the first that we practiced. Now the only thing that's even a little bit tricky about number 31 is we have to go not from an E to an F, but now for the very first time, you're gonna try to play from a D to an F. So you don't just put one bunny ear down, like when you go E to F, you're gonna put both down and then make an F. Let me do that again. So I'm talking about the last five notes of number 31. You hold on to a D, and you would go like this, D, D, then you'd grab everything, go up to an F, and then end with your last note, E flat. This is gonna take more practice than the first three patterns, so don't be afraid to play the last five notes of the song over and over and over and over until you get it. I'm gonna play it two times, once very slowly on the last five notes, and then once quicker on the last five notes. Here I go on the last five notes of number 31. One, two, here I go. And here I go quicker on those same last five notes of number 31. One, two, here I go. And of course, you know the reason I write my songs in four separate patterns is you have a time to breathe and reset your fingers in between each pattern. Don't be afraid to practice each set of five notes by themselves until you're perfect. Next, I'm going to talk about in number 32. 32 is something you're very familiar with because this song is very, very similar to song number 28, I think, on page 4. That song was called Let's Jump, where we go B flat C, and then the next pattern jumps from B flat to D. The third pattern jumps from B flat to E, and then you finish with a special ending. Well, the only thing that's different about the song Let's Jump Again is you play a special ending where you go B flat to F. And of course, we didn't play F, B flat to F on page four. We are playing it on page five because that's our new note. So let me review number 32, the parts that you should already know from page four. And if you don't remember that, pause the video right now, flip back to page four and look at what happened on song number 28. Here I go on number 32. The first five notes are really simple. I'm going from B flat to C. This we call unpinching, of course. Here I go on 32. One, two, first pattern 32. Second pattern is going B flat again, but now I'm gonna jump to a good old bunny ears D. So let's restart on the second pattern. One, two, second pattern, ready to go. And 
and then the third pattern was the one all of you had more difficulty with because I don't jump from B to D with two bunny ears. I jump from B to E, so I have to keep this pinky down and I'm only gonna have one bunny ear. So let me do that a few times. B, E, B, E. If you need the practice going from B to E, pause this video and do that about 10 times on your own. Here I go, B to E. One, two, B to E, here I go. And now here's the last thing I'm gonna talk about on this video is going from B to F at the end of the song. So the last five notes of 32 are the part we're learning new if you've never done this song. I start with a B and then I wanna want you to watch I call B and F cousins because all you have to do to make this B into an F is put down these two fingers. And remember on the video it looks like that's my right hand, but uh, my ring's on my left hand. I know it looks like a, a mirror right now, but you put your these two fingers down to make it into an F. So here's the last five notes of number 32. Let's jump again. One, two, here I go. And of course, if you want to play that along with me or hear me play the whole song of 31 or 32, you can go to the flute playlist at the, uh, the playlist tab at the top of my channel and click on video number 31 and video number 32. And I can't stress this enough. If you need to work on song uh, or on the F to E flat finger patterns, make sure you click on that video and play it until you can make it to the end of the video with me. If you can't go as quick as me to the end of the video, it means you're not ready to play page five yet. If you maybe haven't played your flute in a couple weeks, that's a great thing to do before working on anything on page five or page six or page seven because it'll really warm up that F to E flat transition. Okay, I'll be making uh, some more flute videos soon, but that's it for page five for today. Thanks.